Hello everyone, it's a beautiful sunny morning. Yesterday, I was able to buy fresh dapnya and decided to freeze it to remain fresh. As you can see, the dapnya is still frozen, so we will need more time before we can start feeding our guppies and mollies. Every morning, I always check my bird's water container and you can see algae is growing on the sides. There are tiny poops and feathers, so we will pour it out and change a new water. I'm using drinking water to refill my bird's water container. After refilling the tub, I put it back inside the cage and you can see that they really like fresh water every day. Fresh eggshell is very important as it provides calcium to the birds, so I make sure to make it available every day. After 5 minutes, we check the frozen dapnyas and unfortunately, it's still hard so I decided to put some water inside to melt it faster. While waiting for the frozen dapnya to melt, I checked my fish tabs and found a lot of dead moringa leaves floating on the surface. I then took my fish net and started catching all dead moringa leaves. Actually, these moringa leaves are non-toxic, but I just don't like watching my tabs full of dead leaves on top. So that's why every morning, I had to catch all of it. There are numbers of molly fry in this tub, so I catch the dead leaves carefully to avoid catching baby mollies. Last week, there are only two molly fry in this tub, but today I saw a lot of baby mollies swimming freely, so I decided to catch some of them. These baby mollies are very cute and they have different shades as well. We have white, dirty white, gray, and black color. There are still other fry at the bottom, so I'm guessing there are around 20 baby mollies in this tub. Beside my molly tub is my juvenile dumbu ear red tail guppy tub. As you can see, there are hundreds of guppies in this tub, so I catch the dead leaves very gentle to avoid catching them. Some of the tubs contain few dead moringa leaves as well, so I make sure to get rid of it as well. I also catch this type of snails in my tub because they are very invasive. Anyway, I catch dead moringa leaves in my remaining tubs. After catching dead moringa leaves, I also clean the ground using our broomstick to get rid of the dead leaves some plastics and other trash. After cleaning, I decided to check the frozen dapnya and now it's ready melted. This one cup of fresh dapnya is more than enough, so I took another empty cup and transferred some fresh dapnya, enough to feed all our fish outdoor. The remaining dapnya will be sealed again and stored back to the freezer. Now it's time to feed our fish Starting with my male dombu ear red tail guppies. It's been a while since they ate fresh food, so they must be very happy with it. These guppies are very stunning on top, and I love watching them while feeding. It's possible that I might be able to start shipping this week. So just to let you know, we have two shades of dombu ear red tail guppies. These are male blue shade dombu ear red tail guppies. They have lighter color and have color blue pectoral fin. And the other one is cobalt blue male dumbu ear red tail guppies. They have different color on top and they have cobalt blue pectoral fin. So let me know which one you like in the comment section. My female purple mosaic guppies also love eating fresh dapnya. It's a good source of protein to prepare for breeding. These juvenile full gold guppies are very excited. Fresh food provides nutrients to boost growth and immunity. And as you can see, they really love to eat fresh dapnya. Some food will fall at the bottom. That's why a lot of them also gather at the bottom for feeding. These are my adult full gold guppies and they also love to eat fresh dapnya. Unfortunately, I will not be able to ship them as many of them are already fully matured. For example, I've taken these two adult males here, and as you can see, they are old already. So when we ship this type of guppies, there is a higher chance that they won't be able to survive for a longer period. But I have a really great news for everyone. Instead of selling my mature male guppies, I have number of healthy male juvenile full gold guppies that you can purchase. Here I catch one male juvenile full gold guppy and you can see that it's still developing its color. Over time, maybe after 2 weeks, this gold coloration will eventually cover the head part, including the pectoral fin. And the good news is, they can start breeding already even if the color is not yet fully developed. So this is my male full gold breeder and you can see that the body is already covered with gold coloration. Before feeding my guppies inside these grooming bottles, I decided to remove most of the algae that is floating on top. Sunny days can cause algae to grow very fast. 
If I ignore them, it is possible that it will grow more and might kill the guppy inside a bottle. After a couple of minutes, I was able to remove the algae and start feeding the guppies with fresh dapnia. This two tub is where I place my female Dumbuir red redtail guppies and I'm also going to feed them with fresh dapnia. Now I have two females right here and these two females also represent two different shades. This one is the female version of blue shade Dumbuir red redtail guppy and the other one is the cobalt blue version of Dumbuir red redtail guppy. Notice that the color codal between these two mutations is different. After feeding my female Dumbuy red tail guppies, I also feed the remaining tub with fresh dapnia. In these two different tubs, I place billions of juvenile Dumbuy red tail guppies in here. I'm gonna feed this tub first, and you can see that they super love eating fresh dapnia. These guppies are much younger than on the other tub. And this is the second tub. There are hundreds of guppies in here, and they are much older than the first tub. You will notice that some of the guppies are almost fully grown. On my next video, we are going to select males and females in this tub. I also feed my balloon guppies with fresh dapnia. By the way, a lot of my female balloon koi guppies are starting to develop blue coloration on the head. So it's possible that we might be able to create blue koi guppy in the future. This is one of my male balloon koi guppy in this tub. And you can see that the red head is already fading and blue coloration starting to develop in its lower body. Hopefully, I will be able to produce blue head male koi guppy in the future. Anyway, it's been 6 days already since I put these two guppies inside this bag and they are still alive and kicking. When I checked the other bag, I was surprised to see a couple of baby guppies inside. I immediately get an empty cup and decided to tear the fish bag apart to rescue the baby guppies right away. So there are four baby balloon guppies. Unfortunately, one of them didn't make through and died while inside the bag. I took another cup of water and transferred the mother guppy to that cup. Before placing her back to the balloon guppy tub where I also got her, I acclimate the cup first. For the meantime, I keep the baby guppies on the safe spot. The male pole goat guppy will continue its journey until 7 days. I don't see any sign of getting weak, so I'm sure he will survive up to 7 days. Last week, I emptied this tub and set it up again. Today, I see a lot of white substances floating on top surface. I then scoop all the white substances using a half cut of bottle. These white substances may harm your fish, so I make sure to get rid of all of it. After a couple of minutes, I was able to clear the tub, and now it's safe to put fish inside this tub. A lot of female juvenile yellow tiger mosaic guppies in this tub, so I decided to catch all of them. After a few minutes, I was able to catch all the female tiger mosaic guppies. There are bigger females and smaller females too. I then transfer them to a smaller container, so I can acclimate them to this new tub that we prepared earlier. While acclimating the guppies, I decided to water my plants. I use water from the fish tub as they contain nutrients that the plant needs. I use this spray bottle to water my plants, including my turtle vine plants, my baby tear plants as well. I'm not sure what color is this, but I do really like the color combination. I've been using water from the fish tubs and sometimes fish poops to water the plants and the plants looks very healthy after watering my plants i decided to release the female balloon guppy but i think she already jumped out because the cup is already empty my female yellow tiger mosaic guppies are also safe to release to their new tub meanwhile i decided to place the baby balloon guppies temporarily inside this small container because I still don't know where to place them. I also added plants to keep them alive and store them in a safe spot. So that's all for today. I hope you liked this video and thank you for watching.